Here is the next basement house lot. So that where the machines are sitting is actually inside the house. There's a orange flag right there in front of the dozer. And then the other one is like 15 feet off the property line is the corner. This is going to be a three car garage. And then this will be the rest of the house here. It's actually set. I think the, this person owns these three lots, but this house is going to kind of bleed over into the middle lot, I believe. So, but yeah, basically I'm going to take and we'll just start with stripping the grass off and then everything I dig out, I'm going to bring forward because the house has got to be, I think it's like 30 feet off the curb. So yeah, the front of the house is going to sit here and that's all going to be driveway. I guess I'll we'll have to cap the sewer line. <laughs> but so everything I basically cut out, I'm going to fill in because I need to get it up there to the height of the curb. And then I believe this end is going to have a wing wall going out this way. So they're going to put a pool or something right here. And then they may have maybe their son or somebody's going to build another house on the on the furthest lot. So yeah, we'll just strip everything off. That's why I got the roller here. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of topsoil. It doesn't look like. And then we'll just kind of start building it up right in here to try to get the grade we need. And I'll leave probably a five foot over dig for. Uh, I know the house kind of jogs in and out and stuff, but I'm just going to cut it where they can kind of form it up however they need to. But uh, yeah, get these things moved. It's nice and cold this morning and uh, start stripping some of the grass off. Next week, I'll bring the dump truck because the back corner of the house is like right up against those trees right now. So I'm going to clear that back probably 30 feet around there. I'm going to have to haul that brush off because I can't, can't burn it or anything here in this subdivision. So yeah let's get these moved and uh let's get in the warm cap right, i'm gonna pull over here first with the uh grading bucket on because the edge of the house or the garage is like 10 feet off the property line so but luckily i don't have to build i don't have to dig any of this out i just need to actually build up i think the garage is like a 30 by 30 or i need to mark it out but because it'll all get filled in and then the basement will probably start actually, I don't know, somewhere right here, I think. So I'll have to do kind of an over dig, but I should be able to take all this clay and stuff and put it where I'm sitting at and then build up the garage area and then or the driveway. Because it's kind of a little bit kind of straight in out of there, but I just want to kind of get the uh, grass and all the organic stuff off. but. I didn't want to back the dozer up in the neighbor's yard or anything, so I figure if I can scrape this stuff off like 20 feet, that'll give me enough room to uh, back the dozer on there. But yeah, there's not a couple inches of topsoilish stuff, so. sure when they kind of cleared or graded these lots they just kind of tracked in whatever was here and these weeds had just grown up over the years so but we should have enough clay and rock to uh, at least build up the driveway and the garage area and then they'll probably have to even add more in uh, to build the front yard up I'm guessing I just figured I'd scrape this off with this and then I can get in the dozer and just push all this stuff to the north and I can just kind of use it on the top layer of the clay in the front yard area and then we'll get some good top soil and put over it. But I'll scrape all the grass off here first and try to, I guess I don't really have to leave that stake, but that's where they were originally going to put the house and then they scooted it over. <laughs> Then I'll paint me some lines real quick on at least where the garage is going to be. And then the rest of the house is just kind of a big rectangle. So it'll probably be way over dug. I think the front porch like sets in. But it's still got to be built up quite a bit. So I'll probably just cut out a big square. And I'll just have a lot more room on those walls.
Well, I got all the grass and everything stripped off of it, and I think I got it all painted out right. I got some really tiny prints on my phone that I've been trying to look off of and stuff, so. Uh, this is the back corner of the garage. I think I'm gonna start here. I'm actually not gonna fill in the garage right now. Uh, I'll probably try to shoot, like this over here is the lowest corner. And then I'll, I'll step it up or whatever. I need to do it in foot increments, but I'll dig this out for the basement side of it. And then when I get around to it, I think I can sit over there and cut it back that way. They'll pour form footings and stem walls and then we'll fill in the center of the garage later but I can still take all this material and put them where the driveway is going to be and kind of in the front yard so I've really only got to go down like there are 10 foot walls and they'll do a one foot footing and right now we're going to put it my benchmark is a foot above the curb in front of my truck so with digging this down two feet, because this area is like eight feet below the top of the curb right now. So if I go down two more feet, that will give me 10 feet below top of curb. I will add a one foot footing. So that will give me one foot of the top of the wall above the curb, if that makes sense. So, and then they may end up, we may end up cutting it down just a little bit lower because I'm gonna have to start building up the back because it drops off too much so I need to see uh, kind of what the concrete guys want to do I didn't paint a super straight line but I'm going to try to do like a I don't know like a three foot I might probably do a, a full bucket width over dig on the rest of it but I'm going to try to fudge just a little bit because on these walls, I have a little piece that sticks out and then this footing on the garage will go and set on top of it. So I try to get it just a touch closer uh, on these garage walls whenever that one It's a little tight for them to work and set behind there, but you don't have that much of uh, the footing just suspended in the air, if that makes sense. So... That area right there is just a, uh, I'll probably just set this stuff here. I'll throw it out in the driveway, but. And then basically outside that wall, it's just where the, the front wall of the house is right here. Then it goes down and jogs back out. So I can place some of this stuff there to kind of get it out of the way. So yeah, a little uh, confusing getting started, I guess, but not bad, there's just, this hill drops off so much that I don't really have to dig it out a whole lot to make these uh, walls work in here. There'll be a lot more backfilling. Yeah, I figure this will be easy. I'll just rake it out and I can get on the roller dozer and just kind of roll it in. But I'll dig down this wall and I'll probably jump over there and just daylight that section of it out. Just try not to cover up too many of my marks quite yet, so. driveway in the front yard it'll still work but I don't want to use any of it to put inside the garage when we get the walls done I'll have to probably import some better just more clay material I was at least going to try to get my line cut down the garage and then used to I go ahead and dig like the entire perimeter but I think I'm going to try to just dig this one like the whole thing and just work my way out and around 
I normally do that just to keep my lines, but this one's also such a big walk out. I think I'm just going to kind of dig this big section and throw it up there. So I don't, since I don't have the high dream here, which I don't, I don't think I'm going to need. I may have to move some of this stuff a couple of times to reach the outside of the wall. But I'll just kind of start pushing it over there and then just rolling it in as I go. dig this down a little ways and then I'll get out and shoot the grade again and then uh, I'm on my, once I get to the corner we'll just move over here and I'll probably cut that edge. It's easier to go that way instead of trying to rake it off this way because you can get a nice cleaner edge. I'll probably dig that line down because it'll just daylight out. Probably about right here. That's the problem. It's not even going to go all the way to the end of the house. So uh, which we may, you know, we may have to just dig it down and stair step a footing down, just have more concrete or whatnot in there. But the concrete guy's supposed to stop by Monday and see kind of what they come up with or what they want to do with that. So I may be, like I said, a little on the high side and we may even like lower it down some, but I'd rather be able to do that than dig it out too deep and then normally like to add material back in and then dig a footing or anything or set a footing on top of that so we'll just go about it that way but yeah 